Okay, this is the replacement 5,000 ohm pot that the other technician had put in the Silvertone TV that I'm working on. You can see that it's got a plastic shaft. It's kind of a, a low, low dollar. Probably, I would say this is probably an audio taper volume control pot. But if you remember, if you'll note from my last video, there's no vertical deflection on that set. So I'm thinking that the reason was is this pot was completely burned out. There's, it's burned right through right here, completely burned. Um, I don't know if this is showing up real well in the camera or not. Probably should have better lighting in here, but this is just a cheapy uh, a pot and here is my replacement that I'm going to use this is a 2 watt 5000 ohm Claristats type pot I got it from Janko Electronics and uh, I think that this, uh, this on the vertical linearity pot, this is going to be a much better pot to use than, uh, than that little plastic uh, one that was in there. So that's my replacement pot for that. Okay, I've got this 1948 Sylvania set upended. I left the picture tube intact, uh, left it in in place. I'm not going to do anything with that for now. And uh, here you'll notice right here I have a 5 watt resistor. That replaces that burned out pot. It's, it, that's actually a, a 1500 ohm resistor. Uh, the, the pot is 5000 ohms. But I, I have that in there. I'm going to leave it in there to test it to see how hot that resistor gets. This uh, 1000 ohm resistor here cooked pretty good and it, it measures 800 and some ohms. I'm going to replace that with a 1 watt. I'm going to replace this electrolytic capacitor which is totally dead. This is in the vertical circuit. There's another electrolytic that you can't really see up in here but it's totally dead and I'm going to replace these wax tubular capacitors all related to the vertical circuit. Now my my goal is to see if I can get number one if I can get vertical deflection back. That's goal number one. Goal number two is to measure the B plus voltage uh, and find out how close uh, the person that replaced that transformer with this transformer that's in there to find out how close the voltages come. Now this little transformer that's hanging right here, this is a 6.3 volt filament transformer. Originally, if you remember, I thought that that was actually in there running all of the tubes. It, it isn't. It's only running the uh, filament of the uh, horizontal damper tube. It's a 5V4, I believe. And uh, actually, so it's a volt, point, 1.3 volts over on the filament. Uh, but that, that's what this transformer is for. It's strictly for the horizontal uh, damper tube. So what I'm going to try to accomplish is if I get vertical deflection back, that'll be one thing. If the uh, B plus voltage that I have, uh, here's his diodes, by the way, that he put in to replace the two 5U4s. If I find that the operating voltages in here are close enough to go ahead, I'll start going through some of this and start redoing uh, his work here. I, uh, I want to redo this and I'll, I'll be doing a few other things to see if I can actually bring this set into operation. I have my doubts. I have a feeling that that power transformer isn't going to bring the B plus voltage any close to uh, what's in the specs. 
but I'll I'll find that out as soon as I get done working on the vertical circuits. If I can see vertical deflection on the CRT, and if my voltages are close enough, I'll continue with this. But if not, I may end up just putting this back in the cabinet and just kind of calling it a day for now on this particular set. But we'll see how far I get. Okay, so I've done a lot of uh, work on the, the vertical circuits. Uh, I've replaced these capacitors here, uh, resistors, this electrolytic, this electrolytic here is replaced. I put the new pot in, uh, the uh, vertical linearity pot, but I'm not going to connect it up. I'm going to leave this resistor in because I want to see if it heats up. Uh, this resistor here, this 1000 ohm resistor right here, uh, this is a one watt. They had a half watt in, and, and the schematic, uh, the service manual does call for a half watt resistor. But the one watt resistor that they had in it uh, was cooked. Uh, it it still was reading. Oh, I would say around um, around maybe um, 800 ohms. And I hear something else um, that I notice. This uh, choke right here, the wire is broken off. <laughs> I'll see if I can reconnect it. Um, this thing is a mess. The, it really is a mess. And I don't know if I'm going to ever really be able to bring it back. Uh, considering that that power transformer had been subbed in, I I don't know. I I think that uh, even the work I've done is really going to end up being for nothing. But um, my goal at this point is just to get vertical deflection. Uh, this 0.05 capacitor, this disc capacitor that the other guys stuck in here. This has got to really be replaced. I don't have a, uh, a 0.05 uh, capacitor anywhere I, in my collection of parts. So I'm going to leave it in for now just to test it. This, this wire here has just been tacked on. Um, it's just been tacked. Uh, a lot of this work that, that I replaced here was original, uh, which went in okay. Um, he had a disc, ceramic disc, for this 0.1 capacitor here. I replaced it with that that uh, film capacitor. And like I say, my only goal is to be able to um, get vertical deflection on it. So we'll see how far I get. Oh, and the other thing I'm going to do is measure the B plus voltage. I want to see how close it really comes to what it's supposed to be. So the next step is, I guess I'm going to have to power this thing up and see what I've done. All right, I'm all set to measure B plus voltage. I'm set to power this TV up. <laughs> and uh, if the first sign of any smoke coming out of it or anything exploding, I think I'm about done at that point because this thing is such a mess. Um, it's just such a mess that I don't know if I'm going to go on with it. But uh, the most important thing is, is I should get 275 volts B plus on it. So let's just see where we where we get out of it. Let's see if any smoke comes out of it. We're already up to 250, and there we go. See, look at look at where our B plus voltage is going. It's way high. Uh, 300 volts. And uh, let's see. I'm I'm not even at 90 volts in. So at this point, this thing is not going to fly. I I just uh, 
I'm not seeing any smoke coming out of it and of course I don't think I'm going to get high voltage. Uh, we'll, we'll leave it at around 300 volts here. Um, and even if I do get full deflection on the screen I probably won't see it. That CRT is very very weak. And so far I'm not seeing any smoke coming out of it. Let's see what we can, we can blow up any, any electrolytics. Well, I think I saw something on the screen. can't really tell but I thought I saw something on the screen let me kill power and uh, no, I'm not getting anything on the screen um, and like I say possibly because I've got vertical deflection on it now that that CRT is so weak you can't see anything and leave this thing warm up I can't believe I, I'm not burning anything up in here, that any parts are not blowing up because of that high voltage. Uh, well, let's see, we're about 80 volts higher than we're supposed to be. And let me see. Okay, here's 120 volts in. We're drawing... Now we're drawing an amp and a half. And like I say, with uh, the fact that uh, the fact that the CRT is so weak. We may not be able to see anything. It's pretty bright in here. I have no way to really uh, um, to darken this room. But I'm not seeing anything on the CRT right now. <laughs> Very strange. At least with, with the burned out parts in it, I had a line down the center of the screen. Maybe it is because I've got full deflection on it. It could possibly be that... Uh, uh, oh, there I see, there I'm seeing something on the screen. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if I get the, the brightness has no control over it. So the, the video circuits are definitely not working. Um, let me see if I can get uh, vertical, vertical hold affects it. Um, let's see, vertical size. Yeah, we, we can get vertical height adjustment on it now. So I have vertical deflection, actually. A very dim picture. And uh, over 100 volts uh, higher on the B-plus than it's supposed to be. So, folks, what do I do with this thing? I, I mean, I think, you know, that transformer is definitely wrong. That this transformer is not going to work. The CRT, well, I, I may be able to find a, a better CRT. I might be able to rejuvenate that one. But what am I going to do with this thing? Brightness control has virtually no effect. Contrast does. And... Uh, so far, at least I'm not seeing any of, the, any of the parts I put in burn up. <laughs> well, at least I did accomplish the goal of getting the vertical deflection back. Uh, that's one thing I got. Like I say, I can't darken this room too much. But with that high voltage, 
at that wrong voltage 377 is supposed to be 275 volts so uh, it's over 100 volts higher than it's supposed to be on B plus I'm surprised this thing just isn't blowing up uh, in parts but I, I, I at least I did get the vertical deflection working I, I, I'm sure you can't hardly see it um, <laughs> My, uh, this is looking right at my door, uh, but yeah, you can see it. There's vertical deflection. You can see that the horizontal is kind of uh, going through it. So uh, uh, that's an accomplishment, anyways, <laughs> of some degree. I have to think about what I'm going to do. I've got to find a different power transformer for this thing, or just give up on it entirely. I I don't know what I'm going to do, but with that high voltage. Uh, I, I really can't, I can't really live with that. It, the, all of the circuits will be off. Plus there's this, a lot of mess in here that's got to be worked on that was reworked and, and wasn't worked on very nicely. Well, folks, I, I don't know. At least I, like I say, at least I got the vertical deflection working. That was my, my main goal. I don't know why there's no bright control. Probably the video circuits are not working at all. Um, it's just on all the way. Okay, that's about it for now. Okay, I've repaired the vertical circuits in this uh, silver tone TV. I, I called it a Sylvania in the last clip. <laughs> I begin to wonder if I know what am I working on here. Anyways, I rebuilt the vertical circuits in the Silver Tone TV from 1948. I've got my little homebrew uh, audio amplifier hooked into the audio output of it. And I've got my generator all set to put a uh, modulated pattern into it. And I also have my laser disc player set up. I, I have the disc uh, Frankenstein in it. I figured that, <laughs> considering what was done to this TV, uh, Frankenstein would be an appropriate uh, uh, disc to place a little bit of video and audio into it. We'll see if it works. Anyhow, I did some playing around with the tuner. And I think I can get a signal through on it, and it's dark enough, it's dark outside now where I can turn all the lights out, and you should be able to see an image on the CRT. So let's see what we get. <clears throat> okay, we have a very dim image on the CRT. It takes it a long time to warm up, but we are getting modulation through. I'm getting that. Uh, I've got the brightness turned up enough where you can see the retrace lines real well. Um, so they're actually, uh, I, I'm getting a signal through the tuner, uh, so <laughs> in some respects I have this set functioning. Uh, I'm going to put some uh, uh, actual moving video into it and see, see what it actually does. So you can barely see the image, but you can see that it's actually, I actually have an image. What I don't have is I don't have audio coming through. So the audio, I get the audio through from my um, my mod, uh, my test pattern uh, test generator, but I'm not getting audio through on this uh, laser disc. So um, you could just barely make out an image here. Um, that CRT is about done. It might be, I might be able to rejuvenate it, but uh, I'll have to do a real evaluation here as to what I'm really going to do with this uh, set from this point on. Uh, I don't even know if my video camera is actually picking up any of this, but this will be about it for now.